Work you, know? for you. you look so beautiful right now. This gorgeous light. Thank you. And Elijah, you have got a big warm smile on and excited with all the energy that's behind that. <laughs> Aw, you look very bright, Jordan. You look like you're glowing. Ready for adventure. So why, why don't we all check in? Why don't, uh, Sam, why don't you start out and check on in and tell us what's where you're at? Where I am at, um, I am feeling really great. I um, I had a Reiki session two days ago from my roommates. And yesterday I was feeling a lot of anger again. I've been realizing how much um, anger I've been transmuting. And today I did my 20 minute meditation and my, and my breath work and yoga. And then I feel right, I feel like it's moved. And that's what I kind of wanted to talk about today for me was uh, body technology and how I've been noticing through keeping up with my practices, how much uh, serendipitous events are happening, um, which is really cool and how these ancient technologies were more available to the mass population and how they can really make you a modern day Jedi through cool. simple embodied technologies. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could, um, I mean, I could elaborate, but Essentially, what I'm feeling right now is really grounded and peaceful and excited about my dreams. I have two other meetings today, one with the DDP and the Creatrix Collective, and it seems like everybody is budding and um, connecting. And there's been a lot of telepathic communication happening, like, for instance, I had a moment with um, with my roommate that was really important. We had a we had a breakthrough in our communication, and that was when we shared poetry, and that was really random. And I had made prior engagements with somebody else, and then I was like, I just feel that they're gonna feel that we're not gonna meet, and then that's what happened. He was like, I don't really feel like meeting today, and I'm like, oh, interesting. I didn't even have to physically do anything. So I've been noticing that new technology of access through slowing down and meditating and kind of getting all the kinks and all the anger and all the gritty stuff out of my body that now it's like, like super exciting. Thank you. Giordino, what's up? Mm. Well, this week started a play of grace. And that's already been such a beautiful guiding light for the week. It's just about... Um, just allowing what occurs, you know, for instance, um, this, uh, this um, media experience that you're hosting, Elijah, with the, these, the, you've asked us these three questions about freedom, what is freedom to us, and what is our worldview, and uh, I get up, it's like almost every day, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do these questions, like I'm, I'm wanting to do this, but I go to do it, and it just stops, or something occurs that I can't do it, and it's just like, um, you know, last week that was kind of, um, was more about ease. And I was really feel like just making myself feel ease. But now with a play of grace, grace has a feeling a lot more like fierceness in allowing um, what's occurring, what feels right in the moment to just occur and not um, judging it or doubting its place, but just allowing it. And um, 
so basically how to how to show up how to show up for myself and and feel good in my process now with my you know i have expectations of myself and um so you know i i tend to work myself too hard but now i'm in a really powerful time of um just allowing myself the grace to be where i am and to allow my like my reality to be the reality that I need to be in. Let's check it. <laughs> I... Beautiful. How is it? It's like we have these two different worlds, right? We have this online world have a physical world. And when we dip into this world, like now my online world is YouTube. And, you know, again, when I was growing up, this didn't exist. I couldn't do this. I was only in the physical world. And so it's, you know, I, I'm moving from sort of structured conversation to structured conversation, groups, different people. And the flow matrix is helping me to understand okay well who am i speaking with why am i speaking what are we doing here it's, 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 there aren't just normal conversations anymore you might be talking to the president of a country or you might be talking to an artist who you know is going to change the, the media systems of the planet and every conversation there's a possibility of you know, some immense value coming through and, you know, that's very different from in the physical world where you're just kind of living your life in an ordinary mundane existence. Like, we're, we're, like I feel like stepping into this wizard's multidimensional world, and then you come back into here now. And here we are, you know, the three of us, where each of us is, 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 is doing great creative things. Each of us is exploring possibilities that keep getting better and better. And then each week we come back. And when we come back, we're not quite the same. Each week we come back and we're a little bit different. Like, it's not quite the same. <laughs> and you know there, there's I, I feel like in my own life there's a this momentum like it, it was like this you know, most of my life I was just trying to figure things out and now it's like I figured it out <laughs> frick I don't have to figure it out anymore I don't have to you know did, did I get it did, did, did I get it <laughs> I got it. And then you go, well, what do I do now? And now you, and I was just in a conversation before and, and with, uh, with Ramayan and Akemi and Maya. Right? And I know Jordan understands the significance of that, but Samantha doesn't because she doesn't use people. I do know. Oh, well, you do, okay, but you yeah. don't, like, because me and Jordan were working with them, it's, you know, them, but you, because we were working together, it's like these groups, right, Boing, and they're coming together, mm -hmm. together, totally, and, like, DDP, Jordan, <laughs> I'll pass the ball now, I, I just, I, I'm in a, I, I, I'm in a, a great, sort of uh holy fucking shit batman like this it's actually occurring whatever was designed whatever was planned whatever was this you know we're trying to do something now it's just you know there's an amazement that it actually did something you know for so many years there was this fucking you're digging and you're doing that you're digging <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and now you just do one thing and <laughs> anyway, 
That's my uh, chicken. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. Wow. That's a lot of coming together. It's a lot of work. 25 years of designing, preparing, readiness. Yeah, that's super interesting. Like, congratulations, Elijah. I also think, I think that it's, it's when you're mapping these charts of, of, of essentially how to organize life, it's the natural cycles that are going on as, as well of why we're here. <laughs> why is this happening for me too? you know, of connecting with like all these people and, and it's happening now because it's the, it's the time of the, um, of the rebirth. It's the time of the actual action. When Jordan left to Alberta, all the things that he'd been working on and saying started to happen as well. Oh, everybody's memeing. Everybody's creating games. And I was like, this guy is crazy. Um, and now, like, for, you know, for me, I'm like, oh, this, uh, this girl, Hannah, who's been working with Gary, is like just randomly adds me. Not randomly adds me, but she, we start talking and she's like, I love your energy. And, and I join her online, Joyfest. And she's this like Gemini clown, like, get another prop, get another thing, let's be wild, da da da. And just creates this like online dance clowning uh, forum. And, um, and then so we're, we're creating a relationship, but the tendrils of that relationship were already happening before. Jordan lived at the DDP and then now I'm meeting like his co-host is like dance movement therapy like that's what I'm all about and I'm just like oh this is super interesting because it's like these invisible contracts or these invisible kind of intentions that we put out there it needs to be the right environment like a garden for it to start to actually bloom and sprout. We're like, we put the seeds in and we're like, hey, hey, why aren't you growing? I want the fruit. I want the, I want the apple now. And you're just like, oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes a long time. And for the, all the cards to be in the right place or all the whatever metaphor you want to use, it's really, really cool to see it's happening and we can like I feel that yesterday I was hanging out with some friends and it kind of reminded me of an old Sam an old path and I started to get a little bit stressed about that and started to almost go in my old pattern of like depression and like it's not happening and then when I came back to the technology what my new Sam is and then I'm like, and then we're having this meeting and then I realize all these meetings are happening. Then I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, it's fine. You're not gonna revert back. Um, and why I'm saying that is that like, what you were saying, Elijah and Jordan too, you know, figuring out the, all these things, sometimes there's this like impatience. You need the divine to essentially listen and guide you there's something we can figure out our systems we're psychic and tune people right but there's also this beautiful like mother gaia or galactic energy that is invisible and it is it is kind of carrying our dreams forward but we need that humility and that grace and that patience so that we don't sabotage it with our energy as well. 
with our impatience. Good work. I woke up this morning, I had a really interesting experience. I've been thinking about Cineplex a lot. I like the three little halos that they have in their logo and thinking about movies and movie theaters and screening multi, how when you go to a theater, there's multiple movies playing at the same time. And, uh, and I woke up today and I've been thinking lately, I've been having a really hard time getting out of bed. Like I wake up and when I get out of bed, I enjoy life. But when I wake up, it's really difficult to have motivation to, for anything to actually get me up. It's like I'm not actually excited about anything to get me out of bed. And once I'm standing, I, I'm loving it. Like I love being awake. And, but I've been exploring this process. And today I woke up and I was in bed. And suddenly I felt like, I was in a movie and my life was a movie. And I felt like I was in almost in a theater, like watching this movie. And this movie was like my favorite movie. It's like my favorite movie of all time. It's, you know, the life of me and my reality. And I, I was in bed and I became the character of who I am. And I was in the set of like the bedroom of this person and everything just fit in terms of like, oh, this is the, like, the movie that I created. And I, I just felt like this character. And that, like, it carried me. I followed the story. I was able to follow the story of this person waking up. And I got out of bed. And when I got out of bed, I switched from a movie to it being musical. So I switched from it being a movie to being music. And all of a sudden, I'm in a music video. And everything, I'm feeling myself walking around this music video of my life and everything's musical. And I feel my, who I am through the, the music of my, of my life and everything. And I go upstairs to make some breakfast. And as soon as I get upstairs, I'm like, oh, now it's like a video game. And it's like a video, and I'm, I'm dressed, I'm dressing up my avatar and I have these different levels, my bedroom and the kitchen and the staircase. And I'm, all, you know, all of these levels were put together and I'm experiencing myself going through this level and ultimately like leveling up and I'm like exploring my avatar and whatnot. And then it, and then I made my toast and I was buttering the toast and it shifted back into a movie. And then I thought, I love this. And if I can balance it being a movie to it being music, to it being a game and just toggle back between those three ideas of experiencing my reality, it's always entertaining and it's always exciting because I, yeah, I, I have the, the cinematic experience of my life and then I have the musicality and the dance and the rhythm of it. And then I have the game and the interactivity and me taking action in my life to make a change. And they all work together to like rotate around and, and it's just a beautiful interactive experience of who I am. Yeah, powerful driving engine. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I, I got to share something happened on the weekend and then something is it's continuing. It. It's going to affect us. And uh, Ramayan basically hit one out of the park. He, he, there was a, a nine stages, uh, sort of, a, a, he had uh, hosting the synergy stage, and he invited very particular people from different walks of life, all who were sort of uh, catalysts of a major organization. And he, me and him, dealing our, our separation. So he invited me, just because I, I was like, yeah, I've been in this deep cave, right? <laughs> been in the deep cave, now, 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 now. And only a few people have been down there, come down there with me. George's been one, and Samantha, he was one. And Ramayan went very deep with me. <laughs> he, he had a long rope. 
And so he understands what I've been doing. And, and when you're, I think, an originator or you're a designer or a creator or artist, you have to, you got to get away from everybody. And you got to go into your work. And going into your work, going into your work. And every once in a while, you can come out and show. But you don't show your whole work. No one can take it. You know, it's, it's too much. So you show these bits and pieces, and you go, what do you, what do you think of that? You're a cop shot. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? And you know, for an artist, most of the time, what they do is every three months, they do a show. And this is what I'm doing. And everyone says, oh, excellent. I'll buy something. And then the artist goes, okay, great. And then they go back and hurt you, right? And, you know, I've been doing this 25 years, not freaking three months. I've just been taking this game, taking this game, taking this game, taking this game. And within the cave, there's this, I would bring something out and there was this kind of like frustration of, is it this? Is it this? Is this good enough? How about and, and it's never enough. So I got to go back in the cave and I got to work some more and I bring it up and how about that? Ah, it's like, come back. And so, so the wizard at some point when he comes out, he's, he's not particularly in a good mood, as you've seen me sometimes, where he's not, you know, all happy and rambunctious, he's irritated. And what happened on the weekend was basically the, the mind taking a flashlight, taking a group of people and going, here. But he's created a reference point of an earth manifesto. He's created his own light to go, because he's got to, everyone's got to choose something that they're going to go, this is my thing. I know, Jordan, you've got a million things. And Sam, you've got a million things. But there, there, one of them, not all of them, like for me, it might be the inflow matrix or it might be the new, I, I got to choose one of them to go, this is my best thing, or this is the thing I'm going to aim at. Like right now I have, you know, the inflow matrix, operating system, new paradigm toolkit, bunch of tools, secret plan. School conscious communication, planetary guardians, like each of those is a light work. Each of those is a massive thing. And so this Earth Manifesto, though, is like this primary reference point for everybody on the planet to go into the new paradigm. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the eye of the needle. It's like if we can all agree on this we can now go into the new paradigm together. But first we have to have these kind of set of agreements and the Earth Chart is trying to do it. The UN tries to do it. And all these organizations and everyone around the planet are trying to come up with some unified thing to bring everyone together. But Ramayan, he's pointing at the Earth Manifesto, right? And then he goes, Elijah, do you want to, what do you think you want to, Sounds like a good idea. You know, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. And so there I am, who am I? And uh, these other sort of people, they're talking about creating this sort of manifesto. And I'm just waiting to take the inflow matrix and put it somewhere, right? I can inflow matrix anything and anyone, and it, <laughs> I'm just waiting for like the big one. So I can go, here's what I did. This is what it is. Now you know why I was in the freaking cave for 25 fucking years to do this freaking thing, right? I just want to go there. So then I can just go, fine, okay, you know, I don't have to, that was it. That's why I was doing what I was doing in the coffee shops. I wasn't just sitting there. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so it was the first time. You want to say hi? Yes. Hi. Hi, Jordan. Hi. hi. Samantha, right? Yes. Hello. She can't hear me. Well, she can hear me, but I can't hear them. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Samantha. Hi, right? how's it going? Yeah, it's going Hi. good. I'm just rushing out the door to go to White Rock to get a vehicle for my daughter. Oh, oh nice. Lovely. Yeah. That's all. You look lovely. Thank you. You yeah, guys it's look good great. To see you. you too. We will actually really connect sometime. Okay. 
I know. Let's play soon. That sounds really fun. Okay. All right. All right. More TV. Awesome. Thank you. So every artist wants a stage, and every artist needs, everybody, I think, needs the right stage to deliver what they want to deliver, right? And the best artists know all the parts they need. And they set it up right, and then they deliver their performance, and then everyone goes home, right? But so many artists don't have the stage. So many artists aren't set up, right? So many artists have beautiful work, and they don't have the business manager or all the other people that help them to bring their work into the world in a good way, right? And I know that would be with Jordan, right? Samantha, Samantha you're starting, you're starting to get your stage, right? You're starting to get your audience. You're starting to, your gift is starting to be seen. I know yeah. with Jordan or myself or a lot of originators out there, no one knows what we're doing. They have no idea what we're doing. And we, we, we may share a little bit with people. And I know Jordan and Ramayan are, are some of the few people that I've shared what I'm doing and they understand it. And the reason we hang out is because we, we, we have, you know, a shared interest. We, we know, oh, there's another one. And then if you dive deeper, you go, oh, he's doing that and I'm interested in that so I'm going to hang out with him. we just don't socialize we, we share freaking ideas and you know when, when you're in that like artists go through these, these these stages of when you're not known you can be a great artist you've done something phenomenal nobody knows about it. and then a few people around you know and maybe they may help you but a lot of artists they may have something phenomenal but they died and no one knew what they had. And then everyone goes, oh, he was a great painter or she was a great dancer or whatever it was, but they never got their stage and they never got the support of the community. And they never, never got the money and the resources necessary to do what they actually wanted to do. And it's heartbreaking. You know, when you hear some, about some of these painters who you know, painted their entire lives, masterpieces, and their brother had to buy them the paints and they lived in a shed in the back of the house and they painted and no one knew how good they were. And I think, you know, in my heart goes so much to these artists who, who, who've done such beautiful things and never get the right stage. And the, the, the idea of, let's say, the shared knowledge community or the idea of new paradigm, it should be to help artists bring their work into the world in a very good way, you know, not if the business isn't ripping them off. They're not like giving up everything they have just so they can eat. You know, it's the artists that are leading this evolution. It's the artists that show humanity where to go. It's not the business people. The business people have been taking advantage of the artists. And the artists have been, you know, uh, the, the, it's insane to me how artists are treated on this planet, you know, by the business people. Business people, they do well because they sign the agreements and have the containers and have all these architectures that allow them to create, to steal the value. But the artist doesn't give a shit about that. The artist just wants to create. They just, mm -hmm. they just wanna, you know, they have something beautiful coming through them. They just wanna create that. And, and, and so, again, like this, forgive me for, for talking so long, but, um, the stage was set for this Earth Manifesto where now humanity, right? Like there's nine ways of creation. And you knew this guy, Carl Kalman, who's a Mayan calendar expert. And the ninth wave of creation is unity consciousness. And every wave of creation is leading to this. And so you, it's a quantum leap. Like there's the sixth wave of civilization, and the fifth wave is industrialization. And the, the next wave is uh, digitization. And these waves are there below. And this unity wave is coming. And I think both of you and you know, I, we're, we're part of this wave. Mm -hmm. But these other waves of duality, mm -hmm. depression, you know, have our species trapped because they haven't made the quantum leap to go into that unity consciousness wave. So I'm in this cave and I'm, digging I'm creating this thing which is for the unity wave but everyone's here in this other wave 
they can't comprehend, they can't see the value in what it is because they're not tapped into where we're going. And now we pass through the eye of the needle. And now all those people who were in the cave building beautiful things like you have, Jordan, The stage is being set. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was it was like the I was just sitting there and, and my mind was sort of every once in a while going, and Elijah has the inflow matrix. We can use yeah. that to structure the Earth Manifesto. And I'd be kind of in, maybe put it, I, I made some maps, and some new maps, map would pop up. And they, you know, there, there's no resistance. There's no, what is that? Why are you bringing that in? Why you got that thing there? <laughs> it's just like, of course, well, yeah, of course we, we need that. <laughs> and, and and it just it the burden of the artist who is struggling you know against these lower waves and, it, and is being pounded by these waves is now kind of lifting and then the, the artist is just kind of, oh, I, I can now actually exist the world is ready for what I, I'm working on Thanks for listening. I never quite hey. said it said it in that way, but it's a, it's 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 a it's, it was beautiful. Really, like Ramaya really set the tone well, invited the right people, and you know, of course, you guys should have been there, and everyone should have been there. But it's 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 aiming at the the week of June twenty first. There's like a Unity Week. Is like a launch point of, of, uh, of uh, everything. I think all of our work, like like all of this, everything we're doing is going towards this larger envelope that all of our gifts are going to be necessary. What you've been do, doing, Jordan, you're doing, Samantha, is, is necessary to help all those people who are still in those lower waves or just starting to go into the unity wave. And they're looking for facilitators and trainers and teachers to help them to understand what, how to participate because they've got so much wounding around those lower waves that have sort of just pounded people, right? Anyway, that's enough out of me. Thank you for listening. Yeah, very good. And very deep. You're on a roll very much and touching on something very real and essential right now. Yeah. And that's so, yeah, that's what the Creatrix Collective's platform is, is creating a platform for performers. It's so funny. It's so in alignment. It's amazing. Like, it's to ignite the artist in everyone because that is the, that is the way towards harmony and love and um and to essentially live on this platform as in life in a joyous way is to realize that everyone everyone is an artist and they can try to be one without being judged i think that what i heard like what really resonated with me elijah and 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 my intention and i know it's jordan's intention too is uh, that is that there doesn't need to be the divide the unity is like i am going to create a space and i don't know what's going to happen but i'm going to create a safe space for creative people to come or like people that want to be creative and then see how the magic comes through but the focal, there needs to be something that is kind of like the focal point of understanding for people to want to join it. So for instance, the Creatrix Collective, Ignite the Artist Within You, and we have a different element each week. And so we say, what does this element feel to you? Bring your, bring your paints, bring your poetry, bring your clown, bring your dance, and then have people actually be invited to be presenters so on the screen there's people that are like 
I'm Samantha. I'm going to do a meditation and I'm going to be dancing. I'm going to do a dance flow with air. And then people can look at those screens and get ideas, but also, also they, it gives a chance of somebody that wants to be a performer to be seen as a performer. And it's really exciting and growing because it's not from the egotistical marketing business side of the artist. My sister once said to me, you're not an artist. You're a business person, Sam. And that really hurt me because um, I wrote poetry for my whole life, but I didn't show anyone. And I danced in my room it, by myself, didn't show anyone and, and played with the plants. Like that's my heart space. And, and then I, and then I, I took that hat on. I was like, I'm not actually an artist. And then people in like, when I was dancing at festivals, they're like, are you a professional dancer? And I'm like, no because it was my heart. It was just like the natural creativity source. It's not even mine, it's coming through me. And when we say these people are business people, these people are, you know, we categorize and we compartmentalize. We are doing injustice to our evolution in humanity because the thing is, is to wake everybody up to the understanding that they all can be artists, they all could be hippies, they all could be business people. You all can have currency for your passion, passion, creativity. And so what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing from you, like Elijah is just this, this now because of these platforms of accessibility through the tech age that we're in it was the dark age before and now actually we're in the tech age in in relation to the sutras um is that now we have the medium so that we can all share like this isn't scripted i don't know i'm gonna say the worst first thing like i might just fuck up but it's like like who cares there's more there's more we get used to it and we we play and we try and we're like and then people see our essence too it's our truth not some fabricated like okay let's learn hip-hop and like just be all you know that stationary why don't we learn like more of the spirals and like let that body, let that, that natural creativity come through you and then share it with others. And then people are like, I love your dancing. And then, and then I'm like, well, because that's, that's this universal creative energy coming through me and out. I'm rambling. <laughs> We're about to lose. Um, it's about to end. So let's stop it here and I'll invite you back in. Okay. okay. You're not rambling. It's lovely. <laughs>